This is Dr. Dos, and I will be dissecting the video, Next Gen Police, from One America News Network. 911, what is your emergency? First of all, let's observe a few things. For instance, who is the person that's answering the dispatch call? Why, it's a black woman. A black woman which immediately disarms you and lets you know, folks, this is not racist in any way, shape, or form. A black woman with a comedic face, and the comedic face tells you that this is a safe message. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're going to make you laugh. Keep watching. I need help. There's some people outside. I think they're trying to break into my garage. Notice the dark lighting, the panic. There's nothing funny about this man. He's very serious, and he's dealing with a very serious problem. Somebody's breaking into his garage. They're breaking into your home right now. Yeah. Can you send some police? What kind of police? What do you mean, what kind of police? Notice the momentary lapse as he studiously ponders the question that she just gave him. What kind of police? And then the panic, reinforcing that this man is in a state of sheer terror, and it is the police, the police, that he's relying upon. Due to recent policy changes regarding police brutality, we need to ensure that the officers we send out are guaranteed to not be viewed as racist, trigger-happy, discriminatory. In the event of a violent confrontation, so... Racist, trigger-happy, discriminatory, delivered by a very comedic face by a very non-threatening black woman against the backdrop of a very convincing man, relatively speaking, who is in absolute terror that his home is being invaded. The contrast here is very simple. If you want to question the cops in any way, shape, or form, well, then you will face the consequences, the dark, dangerous consequences. Can you just send someone to help? I don't know what these people want. My family is here and... Oh my God, they just got into the garage. Please send some help! That almost frightened me. If I didn't know he was an actor, I would be petrified, feeling that a man's home was about ready to be violated and his family brutalized. Why? Oh, why do we have to question the police? Why do we have to have the police deal with all these questions when there's violence involved? If we keep doing this, we're going to be at our homes invaded, and we're all going to die. In order to send help, I need to know what race the perpetrators are, their age, their sexual orientation, what gender they are. Do they have a criminal record? Are they on drugs? If they are armed, and if so, what are they armed with? I don't care about any of that! Send help now! I don't care about any of that. We don't care to bother looking into how the police deal with individuals when violent things happen. Because all we want the police to do is to protect our homes from home invasion. And we recognize that if we don't do this, if we don't stop questioning cops, we're all in danger. We're all going to die. Sir, we cannot send white officers out there if the perpetrators breaking into your home are non-Caucasian. I can't send officers out there with guns if the alleged burglars are not armed. So, I need to know. <laughs> this is what happens when you question the police. When you question the encounters that police have with the people they allegedly serve where violence occurs, this is what happens. You get beat down in the middle of the night in your home. <laughs> because instead of letting the police do their jobs unquestioningly, you question them. And for that, the police have turned earn their backs on you. 
Never mind that if this individual had called the police, he still would have suffered the same fate he suffered now. Sir? Sir? Now, well, well, what is your emergency? That was a chilling death scene that we just witnessed there. If you thought that that was real, or if that was in a horror movie, that would be a chilling moment in the movie. And that's one of the reasons why the woman, the non-offensive black woman, had to have such an over-the-top comedic character to offset the chilling image that was being shown with a man being bludgeoned to death in his own home, all because you putzes out there dared to question what the police were doing when they come in contact with people and violent things happen. This is meant to have you turn off your critical mind and act out of fear. Fear that you might be the next victim if you dare question the police. This has been Dr. Dose dissecting the video Next Gen Police by One America News Network. Your home for all things pro-state and anti-liberty.